we have solved a lot of problems recently using combinations, and therefore I thought it'd be helpful to pause and take a look at some of the amazing applications of combinations. To begin, here are three common ways to denote n choose k. n choose k is the number of ways to select k objects without replacement when order does not matter from a total of n objects. This is usually taken as the definition of n choose k. As an example, how many different study groups of three can be made from five students? There are five choose three, which is equal to 10 study groups possible. And choose k is also the cardinality of b n k, which is the number of n bit strings of weight k. Recall the weight is the number of ones. As an example, how many bit strings have length five and weight three? We must choose three of the five bits to be ones. There are five choose three or 10 such bit strings. Next, n choose k is a number of subsets of a set of size n, each with cardinality k. As an example, how many subsets of the set with elements one, two, three, four, and five contain exactly three elements? There are five choose three or 10 subsets. Next, n choose k is the number of lattice paths, meaning shortest lattice paths, of length n containing k steps to the right. As an example, how many lattice paths are there from zero comma zero to three comma two? We must choose three of the five steps to be towards the right. There are five choose three or 10 such lattice paths. And then finally, n choose k is the coefficient of x to the power of k, y to the power of n minus k, in the expansion of the nth power of x plus y. As an example, what is the coefficient of x cubed y squared or x squared y cubed in the expansion of the fifth power of x plus y. The coefficient is equal to five choose three, which is also equal to five choose two, which is 10. If you'd like more details about these five examples, I do cover them in more detail in previous lessons. I hope you found this helpful.